Donald Trump, for once, is finally getting a break. He's actually winning. Trump fails to secure a bond for a $454 million judgment. Now, that was just a month ago. Seems like Trump was about to pay almost half a billion dollars. But now, he finally catches a break because he got this lower to $175 million. And now, the New York Attorney General, Letizia James, is trying to cancel this $175 million bond. She's basically saying that's too easy and that's too cheap and Trump will basically leave scot-free. Now, I don't know why the New York Attorney General is so down to just destroy Trump. I'm not really sure. And Trump has built several of New York City's most iconic skyscrapers. Many people say this is politically driven and it's actually ruining the New York City brand. And the judge is now siding with Trump. Enough is enough, guys. Okay, $175 million is a lot of money. And this judgment bond, no matter what the New York Attorney General says, this bond will stand. And Trump will have to pay this, and that's it. No more stuff. Now, this is just the beginning. There will be even more back and forths, but let's see what happens. But so far, the judge and a lot of other people, and especially social media, is standing on the side of Trump. And we also look at this, the New York Attorney General gets slapped down by a judge in Trump's trial. Okay, no matter what she says, the judge is not listening and the judge is not going for her. The judge is siding with Trump because $170 million is a lot of money, but Trump is able to pay that, especially with his most recent payout with Truth Social Stock. He's getting a decent amount of cash and he will be able to pay this and get away from this whole entire trial, which in the very beginning, this trial looked really bad for New York City. I mean, Trump didn't do anything fraudulent. He basically had a building. He used the building as collateral, worked with a small regional bank in Jersey, and he basically took out a loan, something that happens in Real Estate 101. Nothing too wild. So many people are saying, why in the world did Trump get arrested, get charged with fraud in his wit trial when he's doing a real estate deal that's common around the world? Even Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary says Letitia James constantly wanting to seize Trump's assets is destroying the American brand. This is making a lot of investors very, very scared. They're like, hold on a second. If somebody as famous as Trump, right, who has a totally different political belief than the city of New York in the state of New York, you could just easily be plucked off the street and be sent to this witch trial. That's really scary. Now you have Kevin O'Leary and Grant Cardone, celebrity investors who have expressed opinion about this and have canceled all business and construction projects in New York City. And New York City's cranes are already disappearing just like Chicago's. This is tainting the New York City brand. If you have a different political belief and you go to New York City and you do business, I mean, you could end up like what happens to Donald Trump. Many people have been saying that he's paying $175 million for almost like nothing. Right? Yes, it's lowered from almost half a billion, but still, $175 million still stings for someone as rich as Trump. And let me tell you, I don't think Trump will ever do any sort of construction business or any business at all in the state of New York, not just New York City. And like I said, it's tainting the brand. And New York's delinquent property taxes are soaring without an incentive to pay an estimate of almost a billion dollars in unpaid taxes. Guess who's in charge of this? It's Letitia James. Now, what James needs to be doing is resume these landlords and force them to start paying property tax. I mean, when you spend all your time going after Trump and wanting his buildings, wanting his money, you know, at the side, you have a bunch of other New York City landlords who are literally not paying property tax. How in the world are they not getting prosecuted are they not getting sought after when they're literally not paying the taxes to stay in the city, whereas Trump was just conducting regular business and he got arrested and put on this trial? If you go on social media, the majority of people do side with Trump. Many business owners also express a lot of concerns about the way New York does things and the way you know the New York Attorney General is constantly sought after and trying to get Trump's buildings. Right now, Letitia James is saying that Trump may not be able to pay it and Trump needs to get his building seized. But Trump is like, hold on a second. I got the money. I got the cash. He also got a really fat stock payout. So I think Trump can be able to pay this. So whatever Letitia James throws at the judge, 
the judge is slapping it down and standing with Trump in this scenario. This is a big win for Trump, especially it started off with $454 million, got decreased to $175 million, and now he is able to pay this. This could be the end point for this whole trial, but who knows? A lot more stuff is coming out with Letitia James, Fannie Willis, Donald Trump, and also his lawyers.